welcome to our Conscious Leader Circle, where we meet once a month to support each other through these epic and changing times to feel more grounded, energized, and focused, or as I like to say, centered, connected, and conscious. And today we have an amazing guest speaker, Sharon, Ka is it Katsky? Katz? How do you say your last name, Sharon? Katsky. Katsky, Sharon Katsky. So think of C-O-T-S-K-I, and then it's easy to say it, Katsky. Okay. okay. <laughs> and Sharon is a, a great conscious leader of our time, sharing information um, and tools about photobiomodulation, photon light therapy. And very briefly, I, I met Sharon or connected with Sharon years ago because I was guided in dreams to buy her products, literally. Um, I was dealing with a horse with a rare um, and serious uh, health condition and injury. And back in those days, I didn't use internet. I just used magazines. And I got a holistic horse magazine and Sharon's ad was in it. And then I had dreams that night, um, clearly telling me that it was Sharon's all lights that were the ones for me and my horses, um, that specific brand. And my fear guides were quite relentless, as they often are, <laughs> in getting me to purchase them. And of course, I had to have a dialogue with them about it um, <laughs> and sort of banter back and forth with them about it. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to try them on myself because my horse was really sensitive to energy and everything. And I had a very um, subtle but chronic shoulder issue from driving a lot in my truck. Um, and then at the time, I was also laying down on that left side, uh, doing Reiki with, with that particular horse. And, um, and I put the red light on through my clothing, and it literally felt like, like a response from Reiki. Like It felt like a natural healing energy going through my body immediately. And after three, maybe 15 minute sessions of the red light, it was gone forever. It's been gone forever. So then I started using them with my horses and the rest is history. My whole life has been changed uh, because of Sharon's um, incredible lights. And, um, and Sharon's an amazing, amazing person, totally dedicated uh, to helping people heal, grow and evolve um, with these incredible products. And now I have seven, I have seven lights and Sharon has a new line of lights that um, you can wrap around your body, which I am definitely signing up for. So when I've broken bones, uh, when I've had my own injuries, um, I have lights in my pocket all the time. I have lights when I go to the barn and they're a one time, I'm gonna do the whole thing. They're like a one time purchase and then you have them the rest of your life. You don't have to charge them and you can use them for your pets, for your family. So I'm just so grateful Sharon's joining us today and I will share what Sharon's gonna talk about. Sharon is going to, the theme of Sharon's talk today is shining the light on chronic pain. How many of your everyday activities have you had to alter due to chronic pain? Have you given up sports? Is playing with the grandchildren not as fun as it used to be? Do you go through your day cranky and not sure why? Do you toss and turn at night and find getting a good night's sleep difficult? Did you know you don't have to live your life like that? There are natural and non-invasive ways to support your body's own desire to be strong and healthy. One of the more popular and effective methods now being used and accepted by medical professionals is called photobiomodulation or light therapy. This exciting world is not just about using red light, but instead polychromatic colors and combining them with sound frequencies. Woohoo! Okay, Sharon, welcome to our Conscious Leader Circle. Take it away. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, get my screen again back. Here's that. That's good, right? We're all there. Okay. Does that look right on your end? Looks fantastic. Everybody can see that? Okay, well, let's, well. Let's, sorry, let's just mute while Sharon is giving her presentation so we don't hear background noise. I'm going to mute myself. Oh, great. Thank you. <clears throat> you can mute. 
Okay, well, welcome. Um, as Lydia has laid out my whole presentation, I'm done. <laughs> no, I actually had put this presentation together um, a long time ago. And so it has a little bit of the science behind it and we build up into explaining the therapy. So I kind of want to just keep it that way. And I want to welcome you to our discussion. I've labeled it Shining the Light on Chronic Pain. I am actually a certified light therapist, uh, a universal one, they consider it. I'm also a certified equine red light therapist. And then in my past life, I have a degree in industrial engineering and a degree in construction management. So I have a real different background from a lot of people. I came from a world that was very black and white. And you could add up your answers and double underline them and, and then go back and check and cross check and all that stuff is just perfect in that little box. And now I'm over here in a world that there is no box and I'm absolutely loving it. And that started, that happened 23 years ago. So um, I'm joining you today from sunny Idaho, sunny Southern Idaho. Uh, it's not as sunny today, but normally we have absolutely phenomenal weather. I'm pleased that you're joining us for our discussion today. And what I wanna talk about is something that is so old that it's new again. It goes way back to the days of the Egyptians. It's documented way back into those years where they understood the value of light. Light is a nutrient and we have to have it and they understood it. Um, so over the years, you know, they people have really started bringing light into their life. We call it light therapy, although they really want us to call it photobiomodulation, which is a big term. And we, so we just say PBM for short, okay? The reason that the industry kind of moved away from what they were calling it over the years, which was um, LLLT, it is very confusing to people. Is LLLT low level light therapy or is LLLT low level laser therapy and that's very different and so the industry over the years you know the lasers and the leds have kind of been in conflict with each other um as the popularity of leds has grown the laser companies have kind of had to accept this and so instead of using a very confusing term called LLT, they are wanting us to call it photobiomodulation because photo is light, bio is our cells, and modulation is literally the interaction between the two of them. And so by doing that, it starts, uh, uh, let me think about this for a second, I wanna say, an interaction between the light and our body and the mitochondria in our cells. That is the key. We used to think there was like a mitochondria in a cell. Well, there's thousands of mitochondria in every single cell and there's millions of cells in our body. So you can imagine the impact that we can have on ourselves. So PBM is the application of applying light of a specific wavelength to the body. And it starts a cellular reaction that reduces pain and inflammation it increases your circulation and it stimulates cellular repair. So you're gonna hear me repeat that over and over because when you boil it all down to that, it's pretty simple. And if you think about it, what can't that help? If you're gonna reduce pain and inflammation, you're gonna decrease your um, inflammation and you're going to stimulate your cellular repair, what are you facing that that's not going to give you a positive uh, result from? So PBM is not a surgical or thermal mechanism. It's not about heat, okay? So it's rather, it's a photobiochemical effect whereby the light is absorbed and exerts a chemical change. The light source does not create heat Although there's many times people will say, oh, I feel warm. And that's the circulation. And that means that you're getting what you want, but it should not ever get hot. So I'm in the United States, um, but when it talk, we talk about it, what is an LED? LED is a light emitting diode, okay? And it was first discovered by NASA to promote plant growth and health. In, I mean, in space, 
And if you want to know the whole story behind that, there's there's this article here. Write that link down. It came by accident in space. People don't heal. They don't have the gravity. So the guys that and, and the astronauts that were working on the plants that were being grown under red light were having their hands heal. And they were like, well, what are you doing that I'm not doing? And they they figured it out. And then, boom, NASA got involved. And that's where everything really took off. So in the United States, we have the FDA. And over the years, we've always had to really be regulated by the FDA. Well, in 2019, they finally came out with a guidance document. And they titled it the General Wellness um, Policy for Low Risk Devices. And with that, they intended to like clarify their position on this. And it boils down to, I'm not going to go through everything that's in this, but it boils down to if your device is considered low risk, which an LED is, then they will not require us to go through their clearance process. In fact, if we send in our tools, they, they will not review them. They're going to send them back. Okay, so it has to be uh, intended to a use that relates to maintaining or encouraging a general state of health or a healthy activity. And it has to have an intended use that relates to the role of a healthy lifestyle. Okay, and it's important to note that your healthy lifestyle is a part of your results with this. And so when they go and they, they ask, what is a low risk device? Well, basically it's a non-invasive device. And so um, it, can't, it can't be a needle, it, it can't be a laser, um, it can't be implanted in the body, and it cannot pose any safety risk, like um, having the laser has the um, radiation exposure and the potential to hurt your eyes. And so there's a total different category now between LEDs and lasers. We've talked about LED being a light emitting diode. The laser stands for light amplification by the stimulated emission of radiation. And that is why it's not considered safe by our FDA. So when we're looking at what um, LEDs do, they're a non-coherent light. Well, what does that mean? That means that when that light comes out, it brushes out in a broad band. A laser is a coherent light and it comes out in a little dot and it goes straight down forever and it will go for a long ways. Okay, so a non-coherent, but they found that once it gets to the body, it scatters just like an LED does. So there is very little difference to the body between an LED and a laser, but an LED can influence a much larger area. It's considered low risk, which helps us a lot with our government regulations. In fact, in the United States, our VA hospital just approved light therapy for all of their centers, which is huge, huge, huge. Oh my God, it's a goosebump huge. I mean, now that we can get the, we can help the vets that way, it's just opening doors for everybody. Okay, so it's safe and non-invasive and it's very, very much less expensive per milliwatt than lasers. I mean, I talk to people who spent easily five figures on a, on a laser. And it's like, why? And that is why the laser community has dug in so deep to try and tell people that, oh, you have to have a laser because they have a financial investment in that. But over the years, Dr. Hamlin, who is our, our biggest guru, our biggest researcher, has gone completely 180 on this and has come back and said, LEDs are here to stay. And this is why they work. Okay, so we use LEDs and we use them in photobiomodulation to lower our pain, reduce our inflammation, improve our lymphatic drainage, increase circulation, and stimulate cellular repair. It boils down to that. Okay, so when we talk about what colors that we use for these things, red has been the go-to color for as long as I've been in it. And that's the color I started with. I started with a little pen light, worked it on acupressure points, put it on a tight muscle when I felt like I, you know, it was very small though. 
Then they've discovered um, the benefits of infrared. And over the years now, infrared is becoming very popular. And a lot of people combine red and infrared and call it polychromatic. Now, I'm here to, to say that's not how I view polychromatic. When I view polychromatic colors, it's when you add a color to another color and your eye sees a third color. When you add red and infrared, you still see red. But when you add red with blue, your eye's gonna see magenta. So we're gonna talk about what I call polychromatic colors here in, in a minute. Red is in the, we use the 660 range, a, a nanometer range. It goes from about 630 to maybe 700. I've seen some 670s out there, but the range is, is pretty small with the red. Infrared has a much larger scale. It's around 700 nanometers and it goes way over a thousand. Um, and when you get into the higher numbers, you can get into some more um, dangerous infrared light and you wanna be careful what you're using. So infrared is near infrared, infrared and far infrared. So the far infrared is, is a spectrum that you wanna be more careful with. So blue is the next more re most research color. And they have found that it's antibacterial, antifungal, it's soothing. If it, my saying is it's ice in a light. So if you have a situation where you're like, oh, I need to put ice on that, then you grab that blue light, whether it's a burn or a fresh boom or a sprain. You know, you think about a sprain that's got a huge amount of blood going through it. You don't need to add more circulation to that. You need to get it out. And so um, blue is, is becoming a very popular color. And now right behind it is green. I have had green light. Oh my gosh, we've had our green. I, I don't even know if you can see the color, but it's, it's, I love my green. It, it, it's my favorite. And when people ask me what's my favorite, I, I, it's green right off the get-go. And we'll talk about that. Why? When we came out with green and gosh, I don't know when it was, 2017, I think, I said, Green is the new red. And guess what? They're figuring it out now. The researchers are coming in and they're finding out that green can release 10 times the oxygen and release that oxidative stress in that's in your blood than the red does. So it's very um, powerful for pain relief, migraines, um, anxiety. It's, it's the one that I use for our anxiety. Um, and we're, 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 I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. We'll go through that. But then we get into what I call true polychromatic colors. And that is when you add our eyes, see light or see colors, and then it averages that and sends that color to your brain. And we all know how powerful our brain can be when that's uh, got some suggestions going towards it. So think about you've got the red and you've got the blue and your brain is seeing magenta or you've got the blue and you've got the green and your eye and your brain is going into turquoise. Tur when I think about turquoise, I immediately calm down. I think about the beautiful jewelry. I think about sitting on, on a beach chair. Um, I, I love turquoise. And so we use, we use what I call polychromatic colors a lot. Um, each color will penetrate the body to a different depth. And that is why they have the different healing properties that they do. Okay. So the deeper ones are going to be your infrared range. And the most shallow ones are going to be in the UV range into the blue range. When you look at the different colors and you have the different concerns this chart is kind of set up to help you understand what color you would use for what um, application. And when you understand the properties of the color, then you can come up with your own ways to uh, create your healing. Like for me, I, I go to green a lot. You know, when people ask me for a protocol, it's really difficult because there's not one way 
to do anything. And it's like, what tool do you have? Let's work with the tool that you have. If you have a red tool, let's work with red. I mean, like I said, 23 years ago, I used red. That's all I used. And we got a lot done with it. <clears throat> but as we are learning the different properties of the different colors, and we start combining these colors and learning about what they can do, the world opens up, opens up quite a bit. So let's let's talk about what we were here for in the first place, you know, pain. So many people's number one reason for seeing a doctor is pain. The older we get, <laughs> the more that becomes in our life, right? So as Lydia said in the beginning here, you know, how much of your life have you changed to alter around your pain? Do you, you know, put on your shoes different? Do you avoid walking up your stairs? Do you sit in a different chair? Do you not go walking it in the evenings like you used to because it's just too much effort? You know, we don't think about it because it kind of comes into our life slowly but if you step back and go, well, I have to go dancing all the time and I don't go dancing anymore. Why? Because it's uncomfortable. So those kind of things, we want to take back our life. And we, pain is a disruptive event. It came from an injury, a surgery, an illness, something that it disrupted our life, right? And it creates less cellular respiration. So what is cellular respiration? Well, that is actually the process through which the cells combine the oxygen with food and they create, I have a hard time with this word, but it's adocene, adocene triphosphate, ATP for short. We just call it ATP because it's easier for us Germans. Anyway, and it creates our energy. And that becomes the powerhouse into our cell. And so when you take light and then we add our sound to that, you can just completely crazy promote your healing. I mean, you can, you can jumpstart it like, like crazy, but um, you know, can you relate? I know that this lady here, I think that was me when I had different color hair, <laughs> but um pain can make people very cranky and you might not realize it, but the people around you will notice, you know, they, it, you make this change and you don't realize it. And the reason that that's happening is chronic pain literally moves into the frontal um, lobe of your brain and kind of hijacks that. And that is why people get moody and testy and they don't even realize that but the people around you are going to know probably before you do that, that something's different. This young man, I used to do a lot of trade shows and he, he showed up to my trade show. He's here on the left and he says, he can't touch his toes. I said, you can't touch. Well, how long has it been since you've touched your toes? He said, I don't remember how long it's been since I've touched my toes. I said, well, let me work on you. And I worked on his back for about five minutes and he could touch his toes. He was in tears. His mom comes down to my booth. The first I got their light set. But how would you like to be that young? He's very active. Clearly he's a cowboy and not be able to touch your toes. So the, one of the other things that we talked about with um, what the lights can do is it will create a lymphatic drainage. Um, and you've got to get your lymph moving before you can do anything else because inflammation in the body is equal to your pain. And you can't flush a toilet if the drain field's already full. So you need to move that lymph out and we work on moving lymphatics. This particular lady came to me at a show. Her hand looked like that on the left. She was walking by with her hand in the air. I'm like, ma'am, you need to stop. And she goes, I don't have time. I, it was a cutting event. And she's like, I got to go watch these. I said, no, you need to stop. Your hand's going to pop. I'll be quick. And I worked on her for about five minutes. I had my red light and my blue light. And I just worked on her hand, the part that I could see, because it, it was still all wrapped up. And then she left. 
And about 15 minutes later, out of the corner of my eye, I could see somebody coming out of the boot, out of the bleachers and running towards my boot. And she came and she slapped her hand down on my table and she said, Sharon, look at this. She said, people in the stands can are saying they can see my hand shrinking. And it just continued to go on. And then um, you can see how it looked after about five days. So that's what we're talking about, getting lymph to move. My friend, she, she landed herself into the coffee table. I'm, I'm sure some of us have done that before, right? Got this big old goose egg. She sat down and she put the lights on it. And this is it literally 20 minutes later. That was gone. And that these are, aren't made up Photoshop pictures. So one of the things that we talk about is stimulating cellular repair. Well, that usually involves a wound, okay? And getting the wound to heal faster. So I've got some images. The first one's not bad at all, but if this isn't your cup of tea, this would be the time for you to kind of look away maybe, and I'll let you know when it's safe to come back. I don't, I did not pick my worst ones. I really tried not to, um, but, this is NASA when they when they decided that wound or the lights were going to work on wound healing. Um, this is their their statement and their conclusion. But I don't need to hear from them because I have so many of my own stories over the years. And like this lady, she had this, a surgery on her face. You can see um, a week after that, and then when that healed, you can't even see the scar. So that one's not a graphic one. This is my cat. We think he got bit by a brown recluse because it became this like big black spot and then a hole and in, in no time flat. And it was a Friday afternoon. And I thought, I don't really want to take him to the vet. He's, they're going to, they're going to put him on antibiotics. They're going to, I, I don't know how they would try and stitch that, but they're going to keep him over the weekend. They're going to try and put a cone on it. They're going to do something to that cat. I said, I don't think I'm going to do that. And so I took him, I picked him up like a baby and I put my light and I shined it right here for a couple minutes and he'd go. And I knew that was his time to go and I'd let him go. And he'd come back later that at twice a day. I did that and it completely healed. He never was on antibiotics. He never did anything. I literally could pull that skin out and look down his throat. It was, it was a pretty bad one. And this is me. This is my knee. Um, I used the lights and this is the kind of scar I wound up with five weeks post-surgery. My, my physical therapist kept saying, nobody's scar looks like that, you know, and you can, if you look at this, you'll see the little indentions. Okay. That's the lymphatic movement that we're getting. You aren't taking your light and pressing on your skin. You're just making contact. And when you lift the light away and there's a ring left behind, it's not coming from the light. And if it's not coming from the light, where is it? It can only be coming from the body and the interaction between those two. So I always say, look for the ring. If you've got rings where you're working, you know, you're in the right spot for sure. This one though, is one of the more graphic ones. Um, this was a three month old full. And they think he got stepped on in the pasture. This is his bone and it's bruised. So they took this bowl to the vet and the vet said, put it down. He's three months old. He's not even halter broke. He's going to be lame. He's going to have an ugly scar. You cut your losses on this one. You know, he's not going to be the performance horse that you, that you're breeding. Well, she didn't, she didn't chose to do that. And the second one, she chose to just wrap him with saline soap and a wrap and every other day, take it off and, and she did the light therapy on it. You have the potential for a kicker at this point, because if you sting that horse one time, they're going to stick and then they're going to be, then they could be a lifelong kicker. And that's a back leg. He would sit there and cock his leg and just allow her to do what he did. And this little itty bitty teeny weeny little scar right here is all that came out of that. And he never was lame and he went on to a cutting career. So it's stuff like that, that you can do with the lights. It's phenomenal. And then when we have recently learned to add our sound frequencies in, you, you, you take this to a whole nother level. 
And I don't want to get into sound a lot because there, that's a whole world of, of information. But basically, the most popular ones are the Nogier frequencies. And those are the ones that we use in what we have is our vision light. And we've added the sound frequencies into this and, and put in, in different things with this one. But you can see that uh, when Paul Nogier studied this, he understood that as when we're born, our cells resonate at a specific frequency. And they'll stay at that frequency until we do something. Well, what do you think we do? We eat bad, we sleep bad, we get hurt, we do all kinds of things. So most of us, our frequencies are, are out of whack as we get older. And so aligning what's wrong with the right frequencies Kind of like if you've ever watched the, the video of all the metrodomes when they're, they're clicking and they're moving and they're all in different directions. And then after a few minutes, they're all going together like this. That's the frequent, that's the theory behind the sound. So um, Sapagio is a great one that the monks use. And if you have like Pandora or something, I take, they have a Sapagio frequency channel and I go to sleep to that at night. It's wonderful. Um, Fibonacci is based on the theory that each number is the sum of the first two. So it, it creates a spiral pattern and you'll see it in nature a lot. You start looking for it now. You'll see it in, sh in seashells, um, pine cones, flowers. You'll see this pattern in a lot of different things. And, and now that you've been made aware of it, you'll start seeing it even more. Uh, Rife is, he's got like Oh, 10,000 frequencies in his machine. It's a very uh, involved machine. He's been around for a very long time. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with the Rife machine, but I know that people that use it love it. And then the Schumann residence, that's our Earth's frequency. They think it's about a 7.8 hertz. It's real low. Um, and so that's another one for good grounding. Um, in, in our world, the Schumann. So if you can, if you can find things that, that vibrate at that, that's a visible residence though. If you, if you have a light that's pulsing at that, it, you will see it. And sometimes that is very upsetting to people if they happen to have, you know, seizures or, or ha are sensitive to that. So we talked a lot about uh, different things, you know, and it's like, there's a lot of tools out there and it's like, what do you, what do you even do? How do you even start? You know, you and me are probably very similar. And the first thing that we do is go to Amazon. Well, when we, eh, it's been over 10, it's been 10 years about, we fought to get on Amazon. Amazon did not understand light therapy. They thought it was a medical claim. You know, we had to come in and make sure that we were only saying things about being a vet clinic or a vet use tool. Well, now that, that, now you just get inundated. So we left Amazon because that's not the kind of uh, platform we want to be on. We don't want to be against stuff that you, that's cheap. They, I mean, you get what you pay for sometimes and you, you can't get customer service. And so you want to look at what are you getting in your light? And this is a lot about the Vism light, you know, because the Vism light does combine light, combines colors, combines sound. You know, when you turn on the Vism light uh, and you do red and blue, you've got red and blue here, but um, I don't know if you can see, it, look, it, you can see the eye sees the magenta color. So, and then we can add our programs and our patterns and we can control our time and we can control our intensity if we need to. So there's a lot of versatility in that tool and the price is reflective of that. So if you need something that's not that advanced, then don't go for something that's that advanced. We take the red, these lights, the all lights all the time and put red and blue on the same spot and get magenta. So these are very durable lights. Um, they've, they've been around for a long time. But you want to know if it's got a warranty and you want to know if you can talk to somebody. Is there customer service there? Can you reach that person behind the tool? Because you, I see it all the time. I'm in a lot of uh, Facebook groups. And they're like, well, I bought this bulb or I bought this panel or I bought this pad. I did this or whatever on Amazon. And I'm not sure if it's working right. Well, that's a great question. We take our tools and we take them to a third party lab and we pay to have them professionally tested. 
Most manufacturers will not do that because they want to overstate their numbers. Well, we want to be, we want our numbers to be right. We want them to be, you know, what people can use. And we want to be able to hang our hat on that. So we don't use the numbers that the manufacturer gives us. We take them to an independent lab and have them put them in an integrated sphere where they can test the, all of the light that's coming out of it and not just on a little spot. That makes a big difference. Um, so kind of your takeaways from this talk, you know, is that photobiomodulation is the term you're going to hear a lot more often, and it's replacing the term LLLT, okay? Um, we have a database that we share that has over 6,500 published uh, research articles in it. The man that has done that has not updated it for about a year. So I bet that number is well over 9,000 if he was to take the time. And that's why he's quit. He just can't keep up with it. You know, it's, it's been on a, a 23 years ago. It was, it was just like, people are like, you, what are you doing? I'm like, I have no idea, you know? And as they learned over the years, within the last even five years or so, it's just exponentially taking off and, and accepted and the money is starting to come in there so people can do the research you know that's the that is the whole reason research doesn't happen is it costs a lot of money and it takes time and so uh finally we're getting some traction going that way but the leds are safe uh photobiomodulation is easy to learn sometimes it's a matter of just put it put it where it hurts i i came from a dentist one day and this is our PBM light, which has red, red and infrared, and it pulses as well. And I, you know, half of my face was no, numb from the Novocaine. And I was really ready to get over that. So I just sat here and I, I put this and within five minutes, that Novocaine was dispersed. And I was like, oh, okay, I can talk again. So um, it's excellent to combine with other modalities. If you're getting a massage before you get that massage, if you use your lights, oh my gosh, the massage goes so much better. My, my lady says it's like a hot knife into butter. It, it's just the muscles don't push back. You don't get, it's not as uncomfortable, you know, when they get into that spot or if they are using that spot, you get to that spot, just put the light on and say, okay, come back to that in a couple of minutes. And, and then it's just night and day different for them. I prefer a chiropractor that will use lights because if you can soften those muscles before you adjust that spine, they're not gonna wanna pull right back. And that's why they make you come three times a week for so many weeks because they need to get ahead of the muscle memory. Well, the lights seem to just kind of take that muscle memory out. Um, so, it, and it's great for whether you're a professional or you're at home, you know, we all have things. I can't tell you the last time I took an aspirin or a Tylenol, because if I feel like I've got anything coming on, I'll just put the light there and, and you know, remove that right there. So this is how you can stay in touch with us. We are everywhere. Please follow us on our social media. We are finally on TikTok. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but um, we got our Facebook and Instagram accounts hacked and removed last March. So we had to start all over after 10 years. And my interest there kind of, it really deflated me. I was just uh, 10 years worth of work, poof. And there was nobody to help me put it back. I, no one would respond to us. Nobody did anything. So we had to start all over again with the All Light. These are our VISM. Um, contacts but we have all the all lights out there too uh tiktok we have both on there so that's why it's called lights for healing uh, of course we've got all of these for the all light too um but i just really want to thank you and as part of my way of saying thank you i'm going to offer anybody that's on their call um and a, a 10 percent off anything on the all light site that's not on sale and then an additional $300 off the Vism light, which is on sale. Normally this is $24.99. It's on sale for $19.99 and that would make it $16.99. So we just launched our training for the, the um, Vism light. So we have advanced training. This light is more involved. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's for everybody, but boy, do I like it. I, and I love my green out of here because when I go to put myself into a parasympathetic mode, boom, I'm, I'm right there. When I need to sleep at night, I put it in the palm of my hand and I just go to sleep like this. 
So um, I, I keep going back to green. You know, green's the color of our heart chakra. And there is not one person, one animal that has not had their heart stumped on at some point in their life. I mean, think about animals. Not all of them get good owners. Not all of them came into the world in a right way. Some of them are, are you know, breeder babies. And some of them, I, I, you know, I say they didn't get to play with their sisters and brothers very long. And they, most of them never met their dad. So that's kind of my little thing about the animals. But our horses, we take them away from their companions. And we, we don't think about our animals. The green light on their heart is just phenomenal. So um, that's kind of my little thing I wanted to share with you. I wanted to leave enough time for questions, if there are any. I don't know if people put any in the chat. I don't know the right way to ask questions. Um, Lydia, what, what would be the right way to ask questions? Well, Martin's got his hand up. I, that's a, that's a good start. I'm back. Um, maybe do you want to turn off the screen share and we can open it up? Thank you, Sharon. That was phenomenal. Um, just great information, a great overview. And um, you have a selection of lights that people can try at different price points, different levels of sophistication. Um, as I mentioned and before, have, oh yes, and you have these new, I am going to be getting these, um, you can wrap them around. So when I started with the photon lights with Sharon, that was around 20, early 2014, 2013, and I had the wands. So I have the seven wands, I have seven wands, but you have to kind of get a pillow and put them on you. So if you can sit in a chair, you can benefit from, uh, from photobiomodulation. If you can stand beside your horse or a loved one for five minutes, that person or that horse or your cat or dog can benefit. It's so easy. I'm going to go on and on. It is so easy and it is so safe. And it is so affordable. So my point was, when I started, I got the, those are sharing right your eyes. It's, yeah, your, 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 your screen, your green screen is blocking it out. Yeah. When I started, I started with the wands, which are very, very affordable. Um, so if you're not sure, if you're not sure your price point, I would recommend getting a small wand. And then Sharon has this amazing Vism light. And um, and the other, the wraparound, lots of products. So anyways, that's me. I, I'll talk forever about Sharon's amazing lights. But any questions for Sharon? Um, anything you want to discuss while Sharon's here with us today? Lynn? Yeah, sure. Um, Sharon, what's your view on uh, light panels? Like, I mean, the one thing, I do have some of your, um, what are the little, the, what, do, what do you call them? Are like the yeah, the red, blue, and green. Oh, um, but I wonder, I'm, I'm debating, like, where do you place them? If you wanted, for instance, just general green, as you're saying, for sleep or something, uh, I just wonder what do you think about the panels that actually cover most of your body that are out there? So we do targeted therapy. Uh -huh. And that is absolutely the opposite of being targeted therapy. So that's a real ambient. Um, I am not a fan because I can't sit still for 20 minutes in front of anything. <laughs> and uh -huh. that's kind of what you need to do. And they're, they're kind of intended to just be an overall wellness thing, but they, they're not going to target a headache. They're not going to target, you know, a specific muscle or a wound or anything like that. So we focus on targeted, so panels and bulbs is another one that I'm not a big fan of, um, but people use but, them. The one thing about them is they are bright. And yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Use eye protection, even though LEDs are safe, they're just so bright that after you, you have that, you're like, you know, seeing stars. But the, the, they can get uh, the irradiance that you're talking is so, can be so powerful because they've got fans in them and all the rest. Is that well, an advantage? The thing about a panel, an LED is the further you get away from it, it, the effectiveness drops. And that's why they have to be so intense because right. they might, you know, they say six, six inches away. Well, I'm not going to stand six. I'm going to be like a foot or two away probably, or if you're laying on your bed and you got a stand that can come down, 
six inches is not very far away. Um, so they measure those at different distances and the, it drops off really fast. They have a different purpose. They are they're more for like just, I kind of take it to like taking an aspirin that affects your whole body and just kind of, you know, mm -hmm. but you wouldn't use it on my acupoints. You wouldn't use it the way we use our lights at all. So Lynn, there's also a guidebook that Sharon provides when you buy your lights for the different um, points for um, chronic health conditions and the different meridian points. So Sharon's original wand lights have three settings and the low level is like your own, you can use for your own acupuncture. So if you feel mm -hmm. like a cold coming on, um, I use them on the horses. I give myself um, light acupuncture with Sharon's lights. And then the medium and high can go deeper into the tissue and the, and the bones or the joints. It's so Sharon, you do have a guidebook that maybe, I don't know if you yeah. got it, Lynn, but- Yeah, I don't think I have it or I may have lost it. Yeah, like it comes in the package, but it has an excellent guidebook with how many, maybe 25 chronic health conditions where you would- you know, Our like, label book is, is, is smaller just because you can Google anything about acupressure chart for mm -hmm. cold. And any place that they're doing needles, you can use it for your life. So we intentionally left that small. It's not as easy to find that information out about our animals. So our guy, equine guidebook is real thick and, and very involved. And then we have a dog book and stuff. But when it comes to people, all you need to do is Google ac acupressure chart for hives, acupressure chart for whatever. And then you would apply the light like where your pain is, obviously. Right. So you have your you have your meridian points, and then you have where you have your pain. And then the the wand lights that you have, Lynn, the low level is for the energy points, and then the medium and high is for you know, the muscle joint or whatever the chronic pain uh, or you know the chronic health condition type of thing. Is that correct, Sharon? Right. Right. <laughs> I saw Martin in the very beginning had his hand up. So oh, Martin. Martin. Yeah. That's okay. Um, yeah, I'm really interested in in uh, interested in everything you said. So uh, I want to get something for me. I want to do this at home. Uh, I have a few. Well, I had a I have a few injuries. I want to deal with. Um, so how do I get a hold of this, all these things? Um, email or? I would suggest sending an email to me at info at um, visumlight.com or all light, whichever one you want. Okay. And, and talk to me and let me know what you're looking at, because it kind of depends on your budget, you know, what we can put together for you. Okay. And that would go for anybody if they wanted to try to work on something different than what's just on the website, by all means, um, talk to me and we can, we can combine some things and see what we can do for pricing that way too. Sharon, can you, for people who are gonna be listening on the podcast, can you spell out your email address and also put it in oh, the chat? That's true. So it's info at A-A-H-L-I-G-H-T dot com. Info at all Apple, light. Apple Henry. Apple, Apple Henry Light. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Sharon provides excellent customer service and will most certainly um, help direct you to the best light for, for your all around needs, you know, financial, um, health, um, the results that you're looking for, all of those things. Any other questions? Any, any comments? Anything? Jenny does. She's got her hand up. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Um, I have some I have some old injuries, but I'm also like I have an ECL tear in my knee, um, my right knee. But I also I'm also looking at lymphatic, like trying to just build a stronger lymphatic system. Um, so does it work as well just for even if I don't have an injury, but just want to, you know, put it on the body to build, make it stronger, or clear out any gunk that's maybe in there that's building up in the system? Absolutely. We have uh, one of the charts in our book is called general wellness. And those are points that we put together 
that you really should be doing in the beginning every other day and then twice a week. And then as you get later on, you can probably just do it once a week. And it's all about building our immunity and keeping us healthy, keeping us going and just keeping us moving like that. And then anything that is old and stuck, we like to use a pulse frequency on. And this light has the pulse. And so this is kind of, this is, this is our number one selling all lights by far. It's only red and infrared but it has the pulse as well. So it has, she said that we have three settings, low, medium, and high. This one has three, what we call healing settings. So it's red, red and infrared, which is actually the most intense setting. And then a pulse red and infrared setting. So red, and then you can't see the infrared, they come on um, and then we pulse that. And pulsing by, by active pulsing, it's on, off, on, off. So it's gonna cut down what's delivered by the duty cycle, which in this case is 50%. So um, these aren't low, medium, and high. This is red, red and infrared, and pulsed. So that's why we call them three healing settings. We call these three power settings. I just dropped one on the ground, and it's not a problem because it's an all light. <laughs> Pick it up. I actually have driven over these with my car to see what would happen. Don't do it because, but nothing happened. I mean, they were perfectly fine. I was shocked, but. Um, the Vism light is not that durable. If you drop this, it will break. So it's intended more for a, a, an easier environment. These are intended to stand out in the barn. In fact, I had a lady from Canada tell me that she, her son took it snowmobiling or something and lost it. And a week later, they found it out in the snow yeah. because it was on and they could see the red glow. After a week in the snow, that to me blew my mind because that's a battery <laughs> that we're talking about and the moisture so okay. that's what you that's what you can get with those but anyway jenny did i answer your question yeah i think so like this is this is all new to me and such and i i find like i should just go get the best one which is the vism light i think would you like is, is that more is everything you showed me those other lights would that it be encompassed if i get the vism light or yes and then we also um have the sound frequencies in here we added the nausea frequencies and one of the things that we've done, so you don't have to learn the Nogia frequencies, because that's kind of like advanced learning, is we've put pre-programmed patterns together. So you can literally, if I got pain, I go to P3, and I, we've already picked those patterns for you, or those frequencies for you. And then you can just put it where, you know, where you got the pain. P3 is my favorite. P4 is anxiety. That's my second favorite. I use that with green a lot on my heart, or on my forehead, or in the palm of my hands. Those three parts just, you know. And then um, it's got skin. So if you're interested in doing anything for skin, this is, this is great. It kind of just glides around your skin and you can hold it like where you've got your wrinkles and you got that, yeah, right? <laughs> you, and, and the ones around your eyes and here, and you can just put it over your eye. These are safe to put over your eye. You don't need to worry about, oh, I'm going to be seeing stars when I'm done with this. So we've got a skin setting and then we have one for the brain. Um, they're learning so much about how the, how the brain can help our neurological things, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, MS, dementia, all these things they're learning about using red and infrared and, and getting it into the brain. And then we have one for energy. So, um, and then we have a, a 10 Hertz and a 40 Hertz because those are our alpha frequencies and our gamma frequencies. And those are the ones that are going, they're studying for our brain functions. Um, it's really exciting to see what's coming out with brain function. So um, anyway, Joanne has a question. Yeah. Um, I've got LED lights. Okay. I've been using them for a very long time, years actually. They're, they're pads mm -hmm. and they're, um, I've got a, maybe five or six of them, but they plug into a, I have to plug them in. I know. I have the those. Concept, you know, the in light wellness. Like I that. do. Yes, I do. And I went to quite a few seminars to learn about them and I've been using them. And right now I'm not using them. I, they're very awkward because of the cords, but I've got, I ordered a, a piece of equipment to um, like a shelving unit to sort of set them up and be able to use them more. Um, I broke my shoulder. Um, Three, almost three years ago. And I was given, do you know Wes Burwell? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm waiting to hear back from him. I need another protocol. But my, um, he gave me a protocol for my shoulder, my arm, and with my light pads. And honestly, it, it was brilliant. It's brilliant. That's, I guess what I'm saying is that these LED lights are amazing. Yes. The, um, I, I now need more, I've got more pain and I've got arthritis and, and I need to start using my lights again. Yes. And I see your lights and the flexibility and how uh, I wish my lights, I could, I wish I could just wrap them. I have right. Velcro that holds. I know. I've got those too. The other thing about those pads that I don't care for is they, they have a little bubble over the LEDs. And like with my replaced knee, you know, that is not happening. These are perfectly flat. Yeah. Okay. So I, they, they, right. they don't have that little knob. Plus your inline has got red and infrared. Some of them have blue in them. We have yeah. red, blue, and green and infrared in all our pads. Plus we've lost it. We don't even have a cord that goes from the charger oh, no. to the battery because it's all in one. And so I, I designed all of my tools and I do it from a user's point of view. It's like, oh, that's this one. So I, I had it on last night. I had my face mask on. And when I took it off, I had indentions all, all over my forehead and I find it not to be comfortable. Well, I know, I know. I understand that totally. Um, and I don't like the, being plugged into a spot. You know, I, we have different, um, this is just, this is what we call our pain buster. It's a, uh, 132 LEDs. That's in it. Not too but painful. we have one that's cut for the knee. We have one that's cut for the foot and we have one that's cut for the hand so that you can still work and, and continue on with your life and use the pads. And that was really important to me. Yes. So we've got those and we, and this, you'll be the first to know that we also have the Vism line work that we're working on. And the difference is going to be size. This is going to come out with three dog sizes and a horse one and um, a curved one. And then uh, this bigger pad as well, but it also will have the features that this one has. So you will have a pattern in here for lymph. We'll have a pattern for, for the nerves. We'll have the patterns, but it'll also be set up the same way. So they're coming. It's just, you know. Oh, they, they really are brilliant. They, and they really, the, the, the lights really work. I've used, the, I've used them with my, my dog as well. And they um, love them. Animals love them. They can't lie. They'll just. And uh, I do think that your whole, everything, all of your tools are amazing. <laughs> I have to think, I want them all. <laughs> I want. And I'm so fortunate that I have them all. <laughs> you do. I don't know if I have the, the fortune. I, have I don't know if I have the fortune. To, to I have boxes of prototypes sitting over here. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm so thankful that the universe pulled me into this world yeah. 23 yeah. years ago. I would not have gotten there on my own. It was, it was a journey that was, it was intended to be. And then when I, I designed my lights out of pure yeah. frustration, because I couldn't find anything that I liked that was, that was reasonably priced, that worked right, that had the right functionality, that felt right in my hand. And the day that I decided to do that, the universe said, Let's go. And they grabbed me in my shirt collars and off we went to some, I don't even know what land, but it's been like that ever since. So I just have one final question. Um, I know that when I started to get my lights, they weren't approved by our Canadian Health. That's what I they didn't get the approval. Did they? They no, I'm not wondering if any if you know if it if it well see that's I'm in the States and so yes, that's I why know. I'm not sure what the what the, all the rules are up there. I'm sure they're they're um lady was saying that they're okay to use on your own and stuff like that. I don't know right, right. Go into a practice. I don't know what the Canadian rules are. I know that our rules in 2019, which is now four years ago, totally lightened up. I mean, they were like Right. Yeah, I, I saw that at the beginning. I'm wondering if Canada, Lydia, you don't know yet. 
Oh, I, I don't know. I just assumed they were okay to use. They, I use them casually. I, I'm, I'm sure they're fine to use for your own personal use. Professionally, I, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not, I'm not familiar with people who are doing it professionally. So I don't really know all of that, but um, I know a lot I of people. I know that we have shipped, sorry? We shipped this light to Canada um, to, to practitioners. That's all yeah. I know. I'm sure it's fine to use. I just don't know all the ins and outs and that, you know, changing landscape, right, of the, um, of the, of the use of the different types and models. I don't see there's any problem using them in Canada whatsoever. I've been using them since 2013, 14. Um, and um, I've been trying to use, use them on a friend who has passed away now um, with a rare disease. And I was told that I had to get um, that he that he should speak to his doctor, and that I should get a you know something in writing um, to make sure that there was no liability. That's because, always a good idea because it's Canada. Right, yeah, it's always a good idea. Um, yeah. It's always a good idea to have your your doctor involved. You know, when I fractured my wrist. Uh, and they put the plate and all the screws in there. And I went in for my first return visit. Uh, the practitioner, the the PA, was like, "Wow, you're 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 healing great." And I'm like, "I know. I've been using my lunch." She's like, "Well, tell me about that." So I said, "Telling her." I said, "This is what I've been doing and all that kind of stuff." And so then the physician comes in and he goes, "Well, let me see your hand." And he goes, "Let me see your range of motions. I'm doing all this kind of stuff." And he goes, "You're not going to need to go to physical therapy." I said, "I know. I've been using my lunch." And he's like, "Whatever." I mean, it was yeah. so different between the two of them, and I was—they they both saw the same thing. So. Yeah, my my orthopedic surgeon, my arm was like this big. My orthopedic surgeon and my physiotherapist, like they couldn't believe how quick, how I was healing so well and getting more motion, and um, and I said, well, it's the LED lights, and of course, they they don't use LED lights. No, I know. Well, and 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 that's the that's the laser LED conflict we've had for years. Is they've mm -hmm. invested twenty five to fifty thousand and more into those lasers. They're going to hang on to that, and I I don't blame them. Yeah. If you found out that you did that and something that was a three or four hundred dollars came along that works as well, what would you feel about your purchase? Yeah. Well, I I think. It's brilliant. I'm going to have to go. Okay. Um, and well, let's we'll have our hand up real quick, and so does Martin. So let's answer those real quick, and then we'll 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 take off. So Lynn I'm, first. Yeah, just a quick one. Um, from what I've read, it's near infrared that is for healing. Do the others heal, or oh, is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Because I've seen that red is just, you know, for skin or things like that, but it's your near infrared that will, and it doesn't sound like that's the case at all. No, like I said, 23 years ago, all I had was red. Yeah. That horse wound was healed with red. Mm -hmm. I didn't add infrared until 2017. So everything I have prior to that didn't even have infrared. So you're so, talking the 660 nanometer range by red? No, I'm talking the 800 red. something. Well, the 660 yeah. is the red, but red. the 800 is the infrared. Right. Is what I understood was for healing mostly. So that one we use an 810. That one would have it, yeah. It has 810 in it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, for me, I've been using the wand since 2014 with the, the low, medium, high setting of the red. And I prefer them um maybe just my body responds better to them and so does my partner and i like the 660 nanometer it goes deep in my body i can feel it when i've broken bones i've applied just the red light through the cast and i can feel it just like the reiki um yeah and it's just it goes deep it go i can feel it go as deep as the reiki reiki is different in that the whole body is connected um, and of course, with the with the with the lights, the whole energy system is connected as well. Uh, but um, but I have had I love I love the six hundred and sixty nanometer. Like, you know, just for me personally, the six hundred and sixty nanometer range 
And I have, I get phenomenal results in, for deep, huh. very deep healing from that. So that's my experience. And I'm sure at the 800 range, it goes deeper, you know, it goes deeper as well. And, and Sharon had that chart to show which light, the level of right. the type of light, how deep it goes into that. But I've had since 2014, phenomenal results. I still use the red lights um, every day um on my horses like when it was minus 45 I had my horses wrapped up and some of my special needs horses in the back on track um if, uh jackets with the winter jackets and the red light went through the winter jacket through the back on track and I could feel the response of the body the horse's body I could feel the tingly sensation in my hand of the energy circulating of the muscles releasing in the deep cold um so they're really all of the lights are phenomenal for healing but that's my personal daily experience that the 660 nanometer range um is very effective as well okay great so martin had a question had oh yeah a i just want to make a comment on uh, lynn was saying about the um I don't know what you call it. I call it my happy light. I have it near the uh, computer sometimes. So I have really bad SAD so during the winter time and it, it helps me. Sometimes it, it does, sometimes it doesn't, but I prefer to use it and you only need it for 20 minutes. Obviously you don't have it, right? Just have it to your side and uh, what, you know, six feet away, something like that. And, and it's personal, it's for me. Mm -hmm. because vitamin D uh, doesn't do anything and, and the other stuff whatever it was I was taking before doesn't wouldn't do anything and you know obviously get outside more which is kind of hard to do when you have uh, an injury and you don't want to slip on the ice right yeah. So, yeah so I'm just saying it works for me um, so the other thing is uh, yeah I'm I, I like uh well, Lydia was saying about a similar injury and similar injury. So I have uh, uh, like some arthritis, I know for sure. Mm -hmm. I've had some MRIs done. So I know I have arthritis here, potential over here, a shoulder issue uh, since 2017. And, uh, you know, physio massage, it... it Physio kind of helps now. He's got a new uh, uh, sonic zap. I don't know what it's called. A little sonic zapper. Uh, mm -hmm. and, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the only thing that's actually working, but it's not. It's fixing it a little bit, but because I really had no choice, <laughs> it's, the only, it's the only thing it's you know, it's it would be working. interesting to find out from him what frequency that thing is vibrating at. Okay. What, Let what me is find it? out. Let me find out. Yeah. And, you know, like I can't sleep on my right side because I have. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, I'll just write down everything and send it to you and then we'll go from there. All right. Uh, and I'll, I'll be a test case if you want me to take pictures. <laughs> We've got lots and lots and lots of those. Okay, for sure. <laughs> you know, I, I, when I first bought the light, I'll tell you, I'll leave with this real quickly. Um, I was involved in a natural horsemanship program and the, and the coach there was somebody that I admired a lot. And if that person told me to jump off the cliff, I'd be like, how fast, you know? Um, and so when he was doing this, he had a demonstration on TV and he had a vet from Australia. He was working on a horse with this red pen. And I watched that horse react. I thought that that I want but I didn't understand it and so when it came and I put the light right here where where was one of the points the book was very intimidating it was thick I'm an engineer I don't know where my bladder is all this stuff was just like what you know um so it took me really two years of picking away at that once in a while I'd leave it on my coffee table and I'd take it out and I'd play with a little bit and oh, god I just don't understand this stuff but my cat would show up and I'm like, what, you want that? And I'd offer it to her and she'd rub all over it and then she would leave and I'm like, that's so interesting. Because you can't, it clicked when I shut it off, but there was no noise when you shut it, turned it on. Well, now I know about the frequency that she was picking up across the house, you know? 
And um, so I was like, hmm, okay, one of these days I'm going to take it to the barn where my horse was boarded. That took another probably six months because I was just not into this thing. And the day that I did, my life changed completely. I put it at the base of his withers, which is bladder 13. His head dropped, his tail lifted, his whole body shook. He turned around, he looked at me and I was like, you can feel this? Wow. So then I said, well, then I'm going to work on horses if they can respond like that. So I started working on horses for people and every horse comes with the person. Then <laughs> they're on their horse, right? And they'd be like, well, what about me? I said, mm -mm, doesn't work on people. If you can't feel it, how can it work? So I'd be like, mm -mm, I, I mean, I didn't know anything about what I was doing. I didn't understand any of it. You could blow on me and I'd be drifting in the wind. Then they'd be like, no, really, my elbow. So I'd put the light all over, over their elbow, and they'd go, wow. And I'd go, really? And so I went from a belief, being a believer who lost their belief to where I'm at now, based on all of the results that I have seen over the years. So give me a skeptic any day. You couldn't, you couldn't knock me off my game anymore because of all of what I know, my roots are deep. Um, what I know now and what I knew then are so different. It's like, well, yeah, let's, let's help you, whatever we can do. So with that, you know, I think we've gone way over. We should probably wrap up, but I really <laughs> appreciate everybody's time and interest. And if you have questions, by all means, just shoot me an email. Oh, well, thanks so worry. much. Don't worry, yeah. you'll get questions. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I got you. Martin written down with a little asterisk over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Expect a page of questions. <laughs> this has been fantastic. Thank you so much, Sharon. And, you know, thank you for sharing your journey, too, because I was very much, I, I always say I'm openly skeptical uh, when I try new things. And depending on your journey and the timing, it might take months or years. And sometimes you get, you know, right, right, right into things immediately. But, um, but what I love about what you said was that when you live something, then you know it's true. So that's one of my favorite ancient universal principles. You know, when you live something, you know, you know it's true. When you live something, you know it to be true. And there's nobody that can, um, that can change that experience of your truth. Like when you feel the benefits of whatever it is you're doing, in this case, light therapy, you know it's true. You may not understand how it works, but you know it's true. And this is our power. I mean, we're talking about healing, but we're also healing is to our own self-empowerment. It's for us to help us grow and evolve and, and live phenomenal lives. And as we go forward to 2100, I always talk about 2100 <laughs> when the North Star lands at the North Pole, energy healing, light therapy is, is, the, leading, is the leading way to um balance ourselves to heal to grow and evolve because the universal principle everything is energy everything is energy and mm -hmm. so when we feel better when we have tools to support us that we know help us then we are empowered to live our greatest lives um so everything that sharon has shared with us will help you live the best life you can live in your circumstances and and beyond you know and and create new circumstances from which you can live an even greater life which is what i'm all about like i want every person on the planet um to really have a great life you know like really like let's just get on with it and, and live our best lives and 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 find those tools and the support and it, we're, you know wherever we're at whatever circumstance we're in we can have we can have a great life and and go forward from there at any age at any age um so anyways um that's that's what i'm sharing for today and with no sorry, side effects sorry you know, Sharon? with no side effects you, with you no side effects medications that have a list of side effects that are going to really knock out your kidneys and everything else over time or you can do something that's not going to do that. Yeah. And there's no judgment. Everybody has their own path and everybody, you know, does what feels right for them. But something like photobiomodulation therapy can be integrated into anything that you're doing. And why suffer? Like, why suffer? Like, let's just get on with it. 
and and live our best lives as best you know with the tools with the resources with the um support that we can uh it, it's it's just so exciting to be healthy hey well <laughs> have a wonderful weekend yes. and thanks I'm not gonna, everyone okay thank you thanks, and I, you're welcome i'm not going to do the reiki to at the end today because i we're out of time but we can do that another time so if anybody wants to hang on and chat i'm going to hang out and if not that's okay too but thank you sharon thank you everybody